Hello guys, this is Ice here and today I'm going to talk about the stupidity and downright arrogance of the battle between the Xbox One and the PS4. One of the stupidest complaints I ever heard about the Xbox One and the PS4 is that the Xbox One basically focuses on entertainment and not gaming while the PlayStation 4 focuses on pure gaming. Now, to me, I think that's pretty retarded. If the Xbox One is not considered to be a gaming console, then why does it support games such as Next Day Rising and other exclusive and non-exclusive games? It doesn't make sense to call it an entertainment console and yet not a gaming console even though it supports games. A gaming console, technically speaking, is a console that runs games. The Xbox One is capable of doing that. So it is therefore a gaming console. However, the stupid ass gamers, they say that the games and entertainment are separate. Bullshit. Games are actually part of entertainment. Just like if you watch movie, uh, what else? TV? It's the same thing as entertainment. They coexist each other. There's no need to play words around. Now, what's ironic about the PlayStation 4 is that even though it is considered to be supposedly a gaming console, it also supports non-gaming aspects such as Netflix and Stream TV. Now, what I find ironic about this is how the fanboys, they criticize the Xbox One as being a TV console or an entertainment, even though the PlayStation 4 itself supports TV and other non-gaming aspects. This right here shows how stupid and hypocritical those fanboys really are. They just blame it to the opposition and yet don't realize their blind spot. To be fair, both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are both entertainment consoles. Now by entertainment, it could refer to, you know, aspects such as TV, what is it, um, entertainment on games such as Twitch, and also for gaming itself, such as, what is it, Need for Speed Rivals, and other type of things. The Xbox One and the PS4 are gaming or and entertainment consoles. There is no one being an entertainment console and the other one being a gaming console. That is just downright stupid. Now, another funny thing I find about the fanboys is how one gets buttered over the exclusives. Now, by exclusives, I'm talking about Microsoft and Sony. I noticed that ever since Killer Instinct and especially Titanfall came, uh, came out, Sony fanboys, they got really buttered and they started bitching about why Microsoft is keeping them as exclusives. Now, hold on a second. Why are these fanboys bitching? They have their own exclusives too. Look. They have God of War, Little Big Planet, The Last of Us, and yet are bitching about the exclusives Microsoft has? Talk about hypocrisy. If I were a Sony fan, not a fanboy, I wouldn't bitch about the exclusives Microsoft has. I mean, sure, I want to play those games really badly, but that doesn't mean I should just go and all start bitching and start going r into rage mode just because Microsoft has some exclusives. It's pretty pointless, really. Overall, exclusives are pretty retarded. Not only is it just stupid, but it also hurts the business game. If Microsoft and Sony didn't have exclusives at all, I'm pretty sure they will make more money than what they're doing now. Why? Well, think about it. An exclusive, it prevents someone from another console to play it. Now, if you release that exclusive, then everyone will buy everyone on the Xbox and the PlayStation, they will buy the game, which means that the company or the developers will be making more money out of it because there are people from different consoles that are purchasing the same game. The more purchases there are, the more money they make. However, Microsoft and Sony, they don't do this. The reason why they don't do it, I don't know. But if they actually did stop the exclusives, then it would treat everyone from the PlayStation and Xbox community fairly and equally. It wouldn't be, you know, one giving a snack to another while being biased and giving a shit to the other one. Now, last but not least, fanboys, they complain a, a lot about resolution and graphics. Now, this right here is truly stupid. Not only is it stupid, but it also applies to the reviews on games. I noticed that if you go to Amazon or Metacritic, people give the game a 1 star or 2 star simply because it's not in 1080p or simply because the graphics suck. <laughs> really? These people are complaining just because of the graphics? Wow, that is so hilarious. I mean, Minecraft, if you look at the graphics, it sucks, in my opinion. And yet, a lot of people seem to be into it. I mean, I used to be in Minecraft before, but now I'm not really into it anymore. 
I don't know why I just stopped going but I just find it funny how people they get it over sensitive just because the game has shitty graphics or simply because it's not in 1080p resolution I mean what did they ever play Nintendo 64 or GameCube back then I'm pretty sure they did why hell even our Xbox 360 and PS3 games they were 720p too why are these console gamers or should I say console fanboys bitching about the resolution I mean come on you had you just barely got a PS3 and the Xbox one you just and you complaining about the resolution if you want resolution get yourself a PC and shut the fuck up another funny thing is how the, those fanboys they consider the Xbox one or PS4 superior in terms of graphic wise even though the PS4 may have better graphics than the uh, Xbox One, now even if it does have better graphics, it's only gonna be slightly. Don't think it's 50% because that is bullshit. Now, being an Xbox gamer myself, I don't really care if the Xbox One has better graphics than the PS4 or that the PS4 has better graphics than the Xbox One. To me, I just find that pointless. All I care about when it comes to gaming is gameplay and performance. Why am I gonna play a game that has really good graphics but can't even run for shit? Because the FPS is too low to even play. I can't play games like that. And that's and those are the only things that bothers me. It's not really necessary to have high end graphics just to enjoy gaming. It is the performance and the gameplay that matters, not the graphics. However, as always, the fanboys are just gonna jump in the bandwagon and start a big argument that is completely a waste of time. Just enjoy your consoles and don't even criticize other consoles. Just in, be glad with the consoles you have. If you have an Xbox, good. If you have a PlayStation, good. I'm, I respect both consoles. I'm not, you know, bullshitting that one is better than the other. Why don't we just, you know, just get along and treat others fairly? But I'm pretty sure since gamers are 2P size brain, I'm pretty sure that, that won't happen. Alright guys, this is Icer and if you have any questions, concerns, or criticism, please let me know in the comment section below and if you're going to act like a complete retard talking shit, I will delete your comment and block you. Alright guys, this is Icer and thanks for watching.